Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Jason. Our Creation Homestead here. We're back in the kitchen because we have an issue. Our chickens are laying too many eggs. <laughs> so, so we've got to figure out what to do with them, right? So as Angel's been doing, making pies and, and breakfast bread puddings and things of that nature, which you can all find. I'm, I bet you there's probably a playlist for it if you really want to see it all. It's a playlist. Okay, <laughs> I know there was. But so anyways, so Angel's going to do one more thing here today and maybe a few more. I don't know how many more she's got. I know of a couple that I can't wait to taste. <laughs> but this one today, we're going to do um, some... Carbonara, okay? Carbonara, pasta carbonara, okay? And so Angel's over here gonna use some eggs, show you how to make an absolutely fantastic dish that doesn't take that very, that long either, okay? So welcome back to another episode of what to do with all these eggs. <laughs> so, as Jason told you, what we're gonna make is pasta carbonara. You've probably had it, or at least seen it on the menu at Olive Garden, and didn't know what was involved in making it. It's actually super simple and really delicious. So what we have in this skillet, we have six slices of thick cut bacon. And as you can tell, I've cut it into pieces. I've shown that little trick many times. <laughs> um, you just want to saute this bacon up until it's, it starts to get nice and crispy. But over here, we have a large pot of boiling water to boil our pasta in. With the reflection of a hand on it. Yes, with the reflection <laughs> of a hand. Okay. And now it's pretty much to a boil. It's not fully there, but it's, it'll be okay. So now we're going to generously salt this water. Because this is your only chance to get some good salty flavor into your pasta. So you want to generously salt it. So now we are going to put about, it depends on how many people you're feeding and how hungry they are. You're, you're going to want to put about three fourths of a pound to a pound of pasta of spaghetti in your water. Thin spaghetti, regular spaghetti, doesn't matter. What? It, it doesn't matter, but I, I generally like regular spaghetti for this. Okay. It, it tends to hold on to the sauce a little better. That's cool. So, I, generally I, I usually pick regular spaghetti. Okay. So, you want to push all the pasta down into the pot. Make sure it all is stirred around and doesn't stick together. And you just want to cook that up until it's basically al dente. Until it's Still got a little bit of a tiny bite to it in the middle. You don't want it mushy. Is that a large stock pot you got there? Yes, it okay. is. Large stock pot full of water, by the way. And you want, literally, you want to get everything done and ready to go because by the time the pasta is done, the bacon's going to be done and we're going to be ready to go. So come over here with me to the island and I will show you what's next. Here we have two thirds cup of heavy cream. And yes, it has to be heavy cream. It cannot be milk. It won't work the same with milk. It has to be heavy cream. We have three large eggs. Aren't those gorgeous? So what you wanna do, you want to break up the yolks, give them a little, give them a little whisk before you add them to your heavy cream. And then you want to go ahead and add them into your heavy cream. I usually prefer to put it into something that has a little spout on it. That way you can pour your sauce much easier. Because that's what you're doing right here. You're making your sauce. And you want to just whisk that together. Ah! And though the eggs are not going to be raw on the sauce. It's going to be gently, no. it's gently cooked. That's what goes so fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and to this we are going to add... A generous half cup of grated Parmesan cheese and I did say generous we love Parmesan cheese around here so it may be a little more than a half cup <laughs> you, don't add, like, you don't like add like a cup but you can use you can use more than a half a cup. you can use more than a half a cup That's cool. we love us some Parmesan cheese around here now you don't want to put a ton of salt in this because your pasta is gonna be nicely salted 
your bacon is salty, your Parmesan cheese is salty, so you just want to put just a little bit of salt. You can correct this later if it needs a little more. But needs pepper. Carbonara has a lot of pepper. Needs pepper. It depends on you. Needs pepper. How much pepper you like. But generally, carbonara has a good bit of pepper. We'll start out with that. We'll taste it when it's on we'll, the pasta. And we'll, we'll add more later. <laughs> yes, we probably will. Yes, we probably will. And we may even add more Parmesan cheese. We'll just have to wait and see. So now let's come back over here and see what the bacon's doing. Our bacon's nice and crispy now. And I've turn, turned the heat off. Well, turned it down to low. And our pasta is ready to, to be pulled. So you will always, anytime you do pasta, you want to pull out about a cup of the salty, starchy cookie, cookie. Yeah, cookie, cookie liquid. Cookie liquid. <laughs> Cooking liquid. That's the best drink ever. <laughs> cookie liquid. And in, in case you need it. And now Jason's still baking right out of a hot skillet. <laughs> and now we're going to dump our pasta. Now we've drained our pasta really well. And now you see all this bacon, this beautiful bacon fat here. Do not ditch that bacon fat. The pasta is going to be tossed in it. Now you want to toss your pasta into there with that nice bacon fat. You want to toss it around. You can hear it sizzling. You want to toss all your bacon and your pasta together in that bacon fat. And at this point, your pasta is really hot, your bacon's hot, your skillet's very hot. So, this is the key to making good carbonara right here. Turn off your heat, take it off the stove. Now, we're off the stove, away from the heat. Now that lovely sauce that I just had you to make, pour it right over top. And the egg in there is going to cook enough. Yes. But not curdle. Right? Now, you don't want to make eggs out of it. No, you don't want scrambled eggs. Now, you, your best tool to use at this point is tongs. You can get a lot better stir on it with tongs than you can with a spoon. So you want to kind of raise it up, toss it around, and let it absorb the sauce has the sauce has the egg cooks and the sauce heats and see you can watch it it's thickening and sticking to the pasta and that's how you know your egg is cooking because your egg is getting nice and cooked now in in the sauce and because these are really fresh eggs it doesn't matter <laughs> it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Really you just gonna eat them raw. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could if you, you really could. wanted to. But if you really wanted to. But no, this is plenty cooked. That you can see the steam coming off of it. Yes. It's very, very hot. Now, we are going to taste it to see if we need to add a little more Parmesan cheese, some salt, some pepper. Taste now. Season the taste at this point. Yes, at this point, you will want to season the taste. We. Determined that it needed a little more salt, a little more pepper, and a little more Parmesan cheese. The salt to your taste. But that's up to your taste. Now, we're going to toss all that in. And just like that, you have a delicious dip. You it's have a fantastic, delicious meal. Fantastic meal. And Italian restaurants charge you a bundle for this. Mm -hmm. And you see how easy it is. Very simple. Now, if you want bread or anything done with it, go and have your bread done because this is going to go very quickly yes. and you want to eat it very quickly after you get it done. Yes, for sure. Now, we're going to plate it up and Jason's going to taste it for you. All right, now I get the pleasure of taste testing this just to let you know if you're poisoning your family or not. Okay, if I kill over dead, then don't, don't, then don't eat it, okay? <laughs> if I kill over dead, well, I have a feeling I'm not going to. We've done this many times and I've not died yet. So it's hard. You gotta sit there and get in here and twirl your dang pasta, right? And for a hillbilly, it's not easy. 
I'll just sit in there and twirl forever. But you gotta make sure you get bacon in there. All right, but you know what? Somebody just gotta get in there and eat it. Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic dish. Wonderful flavor. Good use of eggs. Makes you feel like you're eating at a restaurant and you're just eating at the house chilling. Um, eat it. <laughs> you need to make you know, this. This is a fa fantastic dish. You, it's, you, won't, you won't regret making this. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. Hey, you know what? If you haven't subscribed to the channel by now, what are you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications. Get in there and understand when we're going to show you more cooking, canning, gardening, chicken videos, um, you know, anything. So, if you, got, if you haven't subscribed, you need to subscribe to the channel. Um, we do videos three or four times a week. Uh, so, we appreciate you guys watching. Hey, my name is Jason. This is Magical Hands of Angela K. We love you guys. God bless you and goodbye.